A lot of attention when it comes to the Houston Rockets young players will fall on their potential franchise player Jalen Green and for good reason. However, one of my favorite players from the 2021 draft is a guard from the Rockets that isn't Jalen Green. That player is Josh Christopher, the 24th pick out of Arizona State. Josh, also known as Jacob, has a lot in common with one of the best players to ever play for the Houston Rockets, James Harden. They both played high school basketball in Lakewood, California, both were five-star recruits that went to Arizona State, and James Harden even gave Josh Christopher his blessing to wear number 13, which Arizona State retired for Harden, and now Christopher plays for the Rockets. However, Josh Christopher isn't James Harden. That would be a high expectation, and he would have gone a lot higher than the 24th pick if he had that kind of potential or was viewed to have that kind of potential. But Josh Christopher is a unique player in his own right. Christopher is a player that carries himself like a star, but has an interesting combination of both star level confidence and role player intangibles and wiring. Josh Christopher has an ideal frame for a two guard. He stands at 6 foot 4, he weighs 215 pounds, and he has a 6 foot 8 inch wingspan. He's also a very good athlete. He has very good speed and quickness with and without the basketball in his hands. He is a very good vertical athlete, and he's one of the stronger one and done rookie guards I've ever evaluated. The foundation for Josh Christopher's game, in my opinion, starts with his handle. Josh has a pretty good handle for a rookie from what I've seen. It's not quite elite yet, I do think he could tighten it up a little bit, but it's far from something I viewed as problematic. He definitely has a lot of shake and wiggle in his handle, which is important when it comes to creating separation. Having a handle expands your offensive game, and for Josh, it will help him out in a lot of the key areas of his offense, which are his shot creating ability, his finishing at the basket ability, and his ability to pass. A majority of Josh Christopher's offense came from his ability to finish at the basket, and for a rookie, it was pretty solid. He shot 63.2% in the restricted area on 174 attempts, he shot 45.5% in the non-restricted paint area on 110 attempts, he shot 53.9% on 154 layup attempts, Josh has the ideal combination that you look for in a finisher around the basket at the guard position, he has the ideal frame and strength, he has a good first step, good vertical athleticism and body control, and he has a good handle. And he's also someone that has very good touch around the basket. He's capable of finishing with both power and control, and I think that helps him out a lot. And he has some fun finishes both above and below the rim. The area that Josh Christopher needs to improve the most is his shooting. He shot 33.7% on 291 total jump shot attempts this season. He shot 29.6% on 189 three-point attempts this season and he shot 29.6% on just 27 mid-range attempts this season, clearly not showing that he has much of a mid-range game at all. However, I think Josh has very good mechanics, and there's nothing really wrong with his form, in my opinion. I'm not a shot doctor, maybe there's something is wrong, but there isn't anything that really stood out to me when watching him play that led me to believe that he needs to really work on the form. And he did have a solid free throw percentage as well for someone that only got to the line 1.5 times per game, but I think that has more to do with the lack of minutes and role more than anything. He is somebody that I think can be a decent shooter. He's far from a non-shooter, and I think he has good shot indicators. I think he has potential to be a good shot creator due to the handle and due to the form, and I think just working a bit on the shot selection is key, and working on your consistency, which I think can improve over time. I think, again, in due time, with development, Josh can be a solid shooter in the NBA. And at the very least, I don't think he's going to be a bad shooter in the league, even if the numbers this season were good. One area that doesn't get talked about a lot with Josh is his passing. He has very good passing indicators from what I saw. He has decent vision, he has decent accuracy, and I think he's a more willing passer than people probably believe that he is just because of how known of a scorer that he's been basically his entire basketball career up to this point. But I think his passing is a real part of his game. I don't think he'll ever be a special passer that runs a bunch of PNRs, is this live dribble offensive juggernaut as a passer, making a bunch of plays for others, 
but I do think that he can be a good enough passer to be a legit offensive connector within an offense. Josh Christopher has all the confidence in the world and that's what makes him who he is as a person and a player. But I think what gets lost in all the flash and the highlights is a player that actually has potential to be a contributor on a contender one day. Because he has all the intangibles and is wired to be a winning player. He makes the hustle plays that don't show up in the stat sheet. And there's so many moments when watching his tape throughout the years that show that he wants to win and is willing to do whatever it takes to win. He's a better and more willing passer than given credit for. He has the motor on both ends of the floor that make me very encouraged for his development. From what I've heard, he has a great work ethic and loves the game, and that's also just very evident from watching him play. And I thought he put up good numbers for someone who wasn't getting consistent minutes and really wasn't given a consistent role. He reminds me a bit of Bakugo from somebody in the perspective of being viewed as a flashy star wired character in My Hero Academia, but I think his character development is very intriguing and his ability to adapt over time while not changing who he is actually is interesting. Josh has been viewed as a scoring star for most of his basketball career, but I think he showed a lot of encouraging signs as a rookie that make me believe he could be a player that is more than a scorer, but also doesn't let it change who he is. I believe Josh Christopher can be a great connector in the league, someone who on top of being a great scorer can be a passer and a defender. I don't know if that means he will ever be a star in the NBA, it's a lofty expectation in general to be a star in the NBA because it's the best league in the world, and usually only the top 25 to 30 guys in the league are really considered stars, but I don't think that just because Josh may not be a star doesn't mean he can't be an important player to a team. Because I believe that Josh Christopher is going to be an important player to an NBA team for a very long time. Whether it's through his natural scoring ability, whether it's through his passing that has a chance to grow and develop, or his underrated ability to make an impact on the game without stats, I do believe that Josh Christopher at the very least can either be a contributor off the bench or potentially one of the better connectors in basketball one day. But that's the end of this video. If you made it to this point, thank you so much. Again, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, the notification bell, I'm notified whenever I release a video. I'm making basketball content all the time. So if you like basketball content, I really think you would enjoy this channel, especially if you enjoyed this video. You can check out my other videos if you want, and you can subscribe to know whenever I am going to upload a new video if you want to check out more content my most recent video is this video about breaking down the best play from basically every noticeable rookie that i could think of and youtube will be recommending another video here run that road to 2000 subscribers by the end of june and 10k subs by the end of the year and i think we can reach that with your help can't thank you guys enough for that that being said have a nice day and i'll see you guys in the next one